Greetings everybody. It's Saturday, July the 9th. And here is today's seismic watch for you. As you can see, the whole Kermadec trench here is just brimming with activity. 62 earthquakes on this map now, and looks like they just had another 5.0. Yeah, right here. A 5.7. This this is real concerning, everybody. There, there's definitely something going on in this region. I don't know if it's an underwater volcano. I don't know if it's harp pounding on it, or I don't know. But this is very concerning right here. I haven't seen a swarm like this since the aftermath of Japan. We'll take a look at this latest one here. 12.5 miles deep, 5.0. And speaking of Japan, it's been awful quiet. There has not been a seismic movement felt in Japan for over, I think it's 38 hours now. We had another one that just happened here a little further south. 4.6. Mindano, Philippines. But anyway, yeah, I'm uh, I'm concerned about Japan as well. It's very quiet there right now, which might be a good thing, but it's just been it hasn't been this quiet since before March. So take it as you will. We'll have a look at the states. Looks like Washington had another two point something here. Looks like it's right underneath St. Helens too. 2.1, one mile from Mount St. Helens. So continued activity there. Check out uh, California, Nevada. More of the same. A lot of people online are talking about an incident yesterday that showed up on the global incident map and they import their feed from the USGS. It was off the coast here in Canada. The depth of the earthquake was actually a negative depth. And I believe there were some in Alaska as well. Which is very strange, you know. How can you have a negative depth earthquake? I believe everybody's Favorite Dutch made a video about it. Take a look at Puerto Rico here. Continued activity there as well. Only slight today though, that's good. Okay, I'll take another look at the LISS here. Moderate activity. Well, actually, it looks like it's a little more than moderate. You can see we have several lines here. Looks to be pretty steady. Western Australia seeing movements. Papua New Guinea. Here's the Kermandec Islands. Still pretty active there as well. But yeah, there's uh, there's several theories going on about what's going on here. The Kermadec. I, myself, I honestly don't know. All I know is that it's concerning, and this is a very volatile area here. So, areas of concern for today: Kermadec Trench, Japan, Western USA. Be well, everybody.